President Trump telling Americans to avoid bars and restaurants. And of course, that means a lot of us will be turning to takeout. But is it safe? More people are staying home, and that's making delivery a really popular option. But can your takeout food take you out? Let's connect the dots. Here's the good news. Scientists say your risk of catching the coronavirus from food is extremely low. The bigger concern, the actual process of delivering and preparing that food. Many services, including Grubhub and Instacart, are now offering contact-free delivery. They'll drop your food at your doorstep so there's no change of hands. And remember, all restaurants are required by law to follow food safety rules like wearing gloves when making your food. Even so, experts recommend you clean those containers, wipe them down, wash your hands before eating, and when you order takeout, order for one. Health experts say now is not the time to share your food. And that is Connecting the Dots. All right, so you heard it from Ben. If you're going to order just yourself takeout today, a couple new options for you that we're seeing on social media. We know up in Davidson, the Ice House is offering you to pick up or deliver some food, and they're getting healthy food, which is really important, like chicken, kale slaw, sweet potato soup. Looks pretty good in that picture. Chef Alyssa is also going to be offering um, some in-home delivery curbside pickup, which is a popular trend we're starting to see with the restaurants that are getting that set up as well. Remember that her classes, everything is indefinitely canceled. Charlotte Beer Garden, relatively new to the South End area. They're also going to be open for takeout and pickup. This is over on their Instagram page, CLT Beer Garden, if you want to check it out. Soul Food, another company that's working on getting the curbside takeout or pickup set up right now, as far as uh, I read in their post, they're offering right now takeout, but hopefully they'll have that curbside option open in the near, near future. Any of these restaurants that we see start to offer you this option in our area, we'll definitely let you know, Ben. Yeah, and you know what? You could start a, a new tradition with a family that's going to last maybe the next couple of weeks of where a couple of nights a week you, you support one of these great local establishments, right. local business owned by your neighbors, and also help out a delivery driver at the same time if, if you can afford to do it. So it uh, might, might be something for a lot of us to think about. All right, Rachel, thanks.